Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to part two in my Apex Destruction Tutorial Series. In this tutorial we are going to import the destruction mesh that we created in the last tutorial and we're going to blow it up. So, what we need to do is we could use this scene. Um, actually, you know what, let's go ahead and use it anyways. Nah, actually, I'm not going to. I don't like this scene at all. Uh, let's go with a blank map. All right, we can create a 1024 by 1024 by 16. CSG add. I'm going to create a dominant light. And I'll rotate this in a little bit because I'm going to give our lovely uh, wall some shadows. All right, so now that we've created our ground, let's import our destruction. So view, browser, windows, content browser, import, desktop, final destruct.apb, which is an Apex binary file. And we'll just dump it into my package and we won't give it a grouping. And we'll just leave the name at default and we'll hit OK. Yes, we would like to fully load it. Alright, and I have a one I created earlier. Now, in here, we're not going to cover anything in this tutorial because this tutorial is just going to cover, you know, dropping it into the scene and then destroying it. But later tutorials, we will slowly cover everything as we go. Like later when we're going to cover like uh, using a particle emitter for crumble and dust. Um, however, if you want, you could apply a different material for both the outer material and the internal fracture material as well. You could also put a physics material, but we're not going to do that. So we're just going to close out of that and we're just going to drag and drop it into our scene. And then we're going to just going to uniform scale it. Now, normally you wouldn't want to scale physics assets. However, you can scale the apex destruction assets. All right, now I'm just going to double click. And UDK has remembered where I last was, so we'll just go down to, let me just collapse all of this. We'll go to apex destruction actor, static destructibles, lighting, lighting channels, make sure dynamic, dynamic is turned on in which it should be and we want to cast a dynamic shadow. All right, let's move this over here and we'll select our light and I'm just going to rotate this, angle it down a little bit. Okay, so now that we have our destructible, we could immediately just hop right in and start destroying stuff. However, I'm using the June build, so the default Unreal has no weapons. So we could fix that quite easily. View, world properties, game type. All we're going to do is change the game type for Pi, which is play an editor. We're just going to set it to UT game. Right click, play from here. Yay, now we have a nice weapon. And now we can shoot our wall, and as you can see, it crumbles and our player can interact with it. All right, so before we close out of this tutorial, I want to show you, for those of you that have NVIDIA GPUs to actually take advantage of the hardware acceleration. But first, I just want to show you what happens when you destroy. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit laggy. Um, the other mesh I have actually has a lot more rigid bodies, so it actually takes considerably less of these to start lagging. Okay. So this should lag it fairly well. Okay. So now as you can see, it's quite laggy. And that's no fun. So we'll go back to world properties. Go back to the advanced physics. And in the compartment rigid body, we want to check use hardware acceleration. And in primary scene, we also want to use hardware acceleration. Now, this will speed it up a little bit. Um, I'll cover in a later tutorial, naturally, 
uh, a bit more about this tab because I figure it could use its own actual tutorial just covering it. Um, however, one way to greatly increase performance is to lower the max sub steps. I believe the max is five. No, you can actually set it however many you'd like. Well, lowering this will greatly increase performance of the whole scene, but will reduce physics accuracy. But considering this is a game, doesn't really matter. So now there is absolutely no lag whatsoever for me. There may be a little bit in the recording, but there's absolutely none for me. And I could probably have way more of these if I felt like. Alright, so that concludes this tutorial. And this tutorial, we learned how to create, sorry, import our Apex assets. And then we learned how to turn on hardware acceleration so we could run around like I am and just, I love physics. Alright. Create a big pile of rubble. All right. If you have any questions, stop by the forums or the IRC. Both are located below. As well, uh, I have a Steam fan page now in case you'd like to add me on Steam without actually adding me on Steam. I think my friends list is almost full anyways. And you can talk to me on there as well. Uh, check the description for all that info as well as the download link to this destructible as well uh, please follow me on Twitter if you like to keep up to date with when recordings go live so you'll be ready to know before it even appears to you on YouTube and I hope you enjoy this tutorial thank you